Hello friends, my name is Dipen Dikshit. I am from YouTube video channel of Dipen Dikshit. In this existing video lecture, we are going to explain the Marcu behavior and blinking of text. Basically guys, if you have learned a website designing, then there also we have the Marcu behavior on the website. So first you will create a project and you will create a form inside a project. So I have already created the form as you can see here. And guys uh, you will put uh, or you will take the two labels from the toolbox and you will drag and drop these two labels. The first label here you are seeing. So if I go to the property of first label. So here you can see the name of this uh, label is label 24 and the text is also label 24. The second label that here we have uh, drag and drop from the toolbox is uh, this netsop.com and if I am going into the properties of it, so here you can see the text which is netsop.com and the name of this label is label 1. Now guys you have to drag and drop the two timer control from the toolbox to the window form. So here you can see that uh, this is the timer 1 control and uh, this is the timer 2 control. Now guys uh, if I double click this windows application so here guys in the onload event of this form I have started both the timer 1 and timer 2 with the help of this start method. Okay so they have already been started. Now guys if you want this uh, level 2 4 to move from a uh, left side of the screen to the right side and moving again from left side to the right side. So if you want such type of marquee behavior related with the this level 24. So here is the code. So whatever the coding you need to do, you will be doing inside this uh, timer one named control. So double click this timer one named control inside this uh, timer one underscore tick name method which has been created just now. This is the exact code level 24 dot location. So guys, this is the movement from uh, X axis means uh, this uh, level 24 will be starting from this X axis and uh, in every each step it will be moving 5 inch forward. Okay. And your Y location will be same here. And guys, uh, this is the really code for uh, the Marku behavior itself. Now guys, uh, if you want to change or if you want to blink the text. So here guys, I am blinking the color of this netsop.com. So if you want to uh, blink any of the text color. So I'm, I have used a different timer control for that which is timer 2. And if I double click this timer too, so here is a, a simple if else logic here you can see. And uh, before that uh, you can see here that I have declared a u named variable having a data type of int and it has been assigned a value of 0. So now guys uh, if I uh, reach to my code here, so this uh, timer2 underscore take method has, has been created by double, double clicking that uh, timer2 named control. Inside it guys if cu is equal to equal to 0. So initially guys already we have uh, created a variable cu and it has already been assigned the 0 value. So this if uh, value will return you the true value and this label 1 which is that netsop.com will be having the 4 color of gold. Okay. Now guys if again this timer2 underscore tick method will be called then what here you are seeing. Now get this if statement will not execute this else statement will be executed. This is because cu has been assigned the one value inside this if statement. So in this way guys alternately uh, sometime the four color of label one will be gold and sometime it will be gray. So, so friends if I now compile and run this project. So here guys you can see that label 24 is moving from left to right and again guys it starts moving from left to right itself. Also guys here you can see that the four color of this netsop.com is changing from yellow to gray and from gray to yellow. 
now friends if uh, uh, here the netsoft.com is blinking very fast if you want to decrease the speed of the blink so what you will do you will go to the timer 2 control inside which the codes are present which are responsible for changing the four color of that netsoft.com so just right click this timer 2 control go to the properties and guys here you will increase the time which is in milliseconds so i am here giving the 400 milliseconds it simply means guys that after every 400 milliseconds that timer 2 underscore tick method will be called automatically okay so we have increased the speed now so now the blinking speed will decrease now so now you can uh, see that we have decreased the speed of the blink and now it can be seen quite in an easy manner now guys uh, this level 24 is uh, moving somewhat uh, uh, it is having a medium speed we want to increase the speed of this level 24 so guys uh, whatever the code which is responsible for the movement of this level 24 this is existing inside this timer one name timer so i am just uh, going to increase or decrease the speed so here also guys it is 100 milliseconds i am increasing to 300 milliseconds so now the movement will be slow so here guys you can see that now level 24 is moving somewhat slower than the previous speed so i hope uh, you would be liking this video actually this is a, a bit a small type of animation that you can produce in your windows application so thank you and if you want any such type of videos related with uh, networking java or you can say uh, linux dot net and if you want any type of codes, then please guys, please, please visit to my netsoft.com website or you can visit to my YouTube video channel of the pain lecture. So thank you and hope we will meet in our next video lecture.